beautiful people. It's your mom of three in NYC back with our new video. <laughs> Welcome if it's your first time. It's awesome to have you. Welcome back if you are already a subscriber. Thank you for the support. Make sure that your bell is turned on so that every time I upload, you get the notification. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, my name is Teneza. I am the mother of three athletic, they are athletic kids living in the heart of New York City. I have a family in these YouTube streets, my tribe, and I would love, love, love to have you subscribe. This video, my friends, is a review. Married at First Sight, Season 17, Denver, Episode 22, Doubts, Dilemmas, and Drag. Bowie takes a walk with Emily. Quote, I'm strongly in like with him, referring to Michael, and she feels that Dr. Pia accused her of being inauthentic, and she's upset by it. She's literally telling everyone she talks to about it. Emily tries to like help her understand that Dr. Pia is only coming from a good place, she's only there to help them, and to kind of just take it with a grain of salt. Claire and Cameron are done. Claire, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. They have not spoken since all the couples got together the day after decision day. It was Cameron's birthday and she reached out to him and got no response initially. Becca is second guessing her decision to ask Austin for a divorce after she found out he had lied about hanging out with the producer after decision day. Maybe Austin just made a mistake, but her mom, her mom's a real one. Her mom is a real one. Her mom gave her some good advice. She explains to Becca that you have to be able to trust your spouse. They had a few issues her mom reminds her. Trust, the religion. Remember, Becca was born Jewish. Austin is Christian. When she asked Austin, do you think I'm going to hell? He said yes. And the intimacy. That was a huge, huge issue. Their entire relationship. Becca's gut was telling her it was not a fit. Like her mother says, Becca, you do deserve a partner who wants to be intimate, who you can trust, who you can respect each other's religions. You do deserve that. Becca's mom tells her, your person will not leave you with doubts like this. Poor Becca's crying. She just wished it was Austin. Wah, wah, wah. Back to Orion. Orion is feeling a level of rejection from Lauren. Orion, what do they say? You made your bed, now lie in it? You made your bed, lie in it. You asked her for a divorce. You have put no effort forth until now to have a friendship with Lauren. She owes you nothing, 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 nothing. Lauren does not want a friendship. Orion wanted to be able to smooth things over. I said, sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Lauren is a fun person, she says. This process was not fun. She was over this process when she was crying after the honeymoon, like in a ball on the floor. I will never forget that scene. It was so sad and so real because she was being asked for a divorce and they just got back from the honeymoon and she was heartbroken. And Lauren says that, you know, I like to have fun. I want to have a good time. And this has not been that. She's gone on two dates. They both went well. Yo, when she said that she got married at first sight and divorced at first fight. <laughs> I was like, yes. Bravo, 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 that was bravo. Married at first sight, divorced at first fight. According to Michael, there will be a certain level of uncertainty, fear, and doubt. He is not looking for the absence of those things. Again, Michaelisms. I think he's gone through a lot of therapy. I do. I feel like he's gone through because he's got a lot of speak. He got he got away with words. I said, where did he learn how to speak like this? Thinking of the future is draining for Michael. He is trying to navigate if he is ready to be married. Michael, stop. This is literally the second chance that you've gotten at getting married at first sight. And now you're wondering two months in if you're ready for this. Michael, 
all you're doing is sowing seeds of doubt in Chloe, and that's not good. Michael, stop trying to be mysterious. Stop trying to have us guessing. You're gonna say yes, so stop, stop. I kept waiting. I was like, oh my goodness, when I was I was watching it on DVR, I was pausing the episode and fast forwarding the commercials. I was like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we don't have a lot of time left. The decision, the decision, girl, no. They left a cliffhanger. They did not have a decision day for Michael and Chloe. They sure did not. There was no decision. Not in this episode. We will have to see. It better be next. Y'all can't give us three filler episodes. Yeah. Lifetime. I got my eye on you. And again, Lauren wins for funniest phrase of the episode. She said she got married at first sight and divorced at first fight. As always, tribe, leave any questions, comments down below. I'll see you in our next, which may be last, review. Have an awesome day. I'll see you then.